good evening guys how are we all doing so dan from trading with dan here this is our bitcoin evening wrap so if you guys don't mind smashing that like button we will go over to those charts and we will actually go over to these charts this time um and not forget to press the button so you can actually see what i'm talking about so so yeah again again apologies for that last night but we are we are sorted now um so yeah bitcoin is um well it's floating its way up towards that high again towards that well this zone it's not exactly 14k 14k is here but yeah floating up towards that zone um obviously it's friday now we won't have any guidance <laughs> if you want to call it guidance from the ma the major markets so we are on our, on our own um looking at this though um what i what what i immediately see um is what is potentially going to be well however you want to draw it either a white rising wedge or a rising um a rising channel i mean if you wanted to, to draw it like more like more like this you could draw it as a channel um <clears throat> but um i mean to me to be honest it's probably it's probably looking a bit more like a wedge in all fairness um so <laughs> we know we know that they are bearish um they are um um potentially bearish um, formations or more often than not they're bearish formations um so um we'll leave that in there for the time being and see how things play out this weekend if i can even just get it get it about right that'll do anyway that's close enough um but yeah so um mm, yeah guys so yeah <laughs> what what to, what to say here I, I mean on the basis you guys know that i think we're going to range around in the zone it would just make sense just to get back towards the top maybe even wick above this level hunt some hunt some nice sweet liquidity fomo some buys in hit some stops um and then come back down i mean seems pretty seems pretty reasonable to me obviously that's going to take us quite high out of this um, wedge but then like i said maybe it maybe it's just a rising channel that will eventually break down at some point and um, but yeah that's what i'm looking at anyway over to those major markets because as you guys know from this morning's video that's the most important thing that we've got really going on here so yeah i mean you can see the dollar index you can see what is going on here we are trying to we are trying to break this level well well we've broken the level but we're trying to obviously hold above it and try and make progress or not we but <laughs> the uh, the colloquial we um but yeah so um but what we need what we need um as a uh, as crypto and crypto guys and um, that one bitcoin to go up and crypto to go up is we do need this to break below here and keep coming back down so it is good that we have closed where we've closed this is not not the worst close for our close for our cause and um, we obviously could do it being low we did have a test down today but you see that got bought up pretty quickly but yeah i mean this is an important this is the important level now this is where we just go full i mean you can't really it's hard to say um that we're not necessarily going to go um at least test higher levels maybe we don't turn fully um fully bullish in the dollar but maybe we what we would likely test higher levels um that's basically what we've got going on there um on stock markets as well so they did it they did it guys they managed to paint those tapes into the close so you can see we had a pretty volatile day a pretty um yeah well you can see we had a pretty volatile day um ups and downs all over the place within that we're not obviously with nicely within our range we've got marked out so that is clearly nice to see look bottom of the range top of the range bottom of the range top of the range bottom of the range and then heading back towards the top so but yeah fortunately they painted the chart in a fashion that we didn't close on or that near to the lows um and yeah like i said though this is the real target guys they've got to get us back above here um or uh, otherwise it's curtains for stock markets and that's obviously going to weigh in on on everything um so gold as well gold as you can see gold doing a similar thing um to stocks trying to trying to trying to find its footing trying to trying to make a move back up so um obviously i've got slightly more confidence in gold um and then i have in, in stock markets because i mean they'll keep on trying to do the printing and yeah i mean it can obviously help stocks um but i just i do think it's just more bullish um for precious metals um yeah i mean you can see the same in silver it's trying to it's obviously lost the trend line now it's trying to um trying to reverse obviously had a nice four hour nine there I believe we looked at that yesterday um ethereum the altcoins are obviously not having the um the best time of things at the moment but could we be in um could this be the higher the higher low in ethereum usd i mean it very likely could be it very likely could be but obviously i mean this is the more important pairing oh god oh gosh guys just look at it 
just look at it guys um it's just absolute um absolute trash isn't it i mean just to say all the action going on on the ethereum network all, all the stuff being built on it everything everything all on ethereum even bitcoin moving over to ethereum rat bitcoin moving over to ethereum and i mean this is what it does i mean it's just yeah i mean it's just getting trolled isn't it um but yeah we are on a four hour nine at support um and it is basically a one a two it is a triple a triple four hour nine at support we'll have a look at some of the higher time frames as well actually um see if we've got any higher time frame um nine i mean that not 12 hour nine you can see side um, basically uh a one to four candle correction textbook there off that nine candle daily um yeah nothing really on the daily uh, nothing coming in TD wise on the daily. Yeah, nothing on the two day. Uh, nothing on the three day. Nothing on the five day. Weekly is usually an important one, and um, nothing. And the bi weekly, not much either. Let's have a look at that. Um, oh, sorry, we're on Ethereum, aren't we? Um, yeah. So I mean, realistically, we are we are looking at um, definitely needing to bounce this area. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm not saying that's going to basically reverse price, but uh, I mean just can we go can we just go down in a straight line for much further markets don't usually do that so um that's all i'll say about that btc.d as well um hanging around this important level hanging around at this important level um i don't expect it to turn on a dime and come straight back down but i mean i do expect it to not just be able to carry on upwards if this is levels not there but um obviously not carrying upwards is going to be the start of trying to put in a in a move down in this but but yeah, I mean, altcoins obviously get. Oh, sorry guys, sorry for the yawning. It's been a long day. Altcoins, altcoins obviously getting trolled as indicated, um, as indicated by this chart. So yeah, that is enough. That is enough of those awful, uh, awful charts. Oh, now we've got the awful Bitcoin rising wedge. Oh, what, what are we gonna do? But anyway, it's the it's the weekend, so we don't have to worry about the dollar index or stock markets. Um, it's just down to woods, really. Um, and yeah, I mean, like I said. Um, I can just see it's floating upwards, interacting with this top level and then getting rejected and then making our way to the bottom. And we're just playing pinball, really, um, until either, well, until either stops crash because the move down we've had so far isn't seem, isn't seem to be having much of an effect on Bitcoin to the negative, negatively. Um, or we, or the stock markets um, pick up and the dollar starts to weaken again and we just blast through here. And, and honestly, we're on our way to 20k in that case, guys. I mean, for the dollar level, it's that. <laughs> for this level, the dollar, oh no, sorry, this is Bitcoin dominance. I was going to say, I was looking at thinking we're not that far up. But yeah, for this level, the dollar is at, for us to get back down, for us to get back down below here or even at this level, that is that is going to send Bitcoin um, off, off to the races. Because, yeah, I mean, I mean, honestly, once we get through here, I mean, there's, there, is, there really is nothing. There really is nothing. I mean, we've got this level drawn in that we drew in before. I mean, 17K. I mean, but honestly, once Bitcoin starts to get up to there, um, I mean, people are going to, we are going to start attracting new, new money, guys. Not if there is any, if there's any new money about anyway. But yeah, we are going to be attracting new funds into crypto um yeah so and we are look look how close we are to getting above here so we're only going to take a uh, move down in the dollar move up in stocks and um we should be able to should be able to find our way quite nicely into this zone basically um so yeah so yeah weekend action weekend action um i like i'm saying we're all the way up here i expect us to come and test this it would not make sense for us to be this high um and not take out this um this high um just to find some liquidity even if um we are then just going to come back down but obviously we could take out that high get up high and move above here and then um, then yeah just make some um makes it make bitcoin can make some executive decisions of, of its own for a change um rather than just being um, driven by other markets but yeah we'll have to see what happens there um but yeah pretty much um that is it guys um this weekend, I think I'm going to do some other videos, uh, not all the other crypto videos also, but just on some other things, some other 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 things that I'm doing. I've been um, been doing a bit of a uh, playing around in some degen degen trades and degen altcoins altcoins and Uniswap trades. So um, yeah, it's fun. It is fun, and yeah, you can catch some big winners doing that as well. So uh, but yeah, for now though, that is it, guys. And uh, remember, this is not a financial advice. I am not a financial advisor. Always D Y O R, do your own research. And I will speak to you guys in the morning.